Hey, I'm Ty Tabor from King's X and uh, going to just go through some uh, King's X riffs and tunes and hopefully uh, not mess them up too bad. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I usually use a drop tuning, you know, standardly it would be a drop D, but what I've been doing is taking the whole guitar and going a full step down from that, so it's drop C. And uh, that's pretty much the King's X standard tuning for, I'd say, 90% of what we do. And then we'll tune it back up to standard tuning, but one step down for uh, some of the older stuff. And uh, between those two tunings, that pretty much covers the night these days. But uh, in the past, we used to have to carry a lot of different guitars for different songs. And we had songs on albums where we had to have a guitar just for the one song, and we'd have more than one song like that on a record with just really stupid tunings, to be honest. <laughs> and it got to be so nuts that we were you know, going out with seven, eight guitars that it, it just was a nightmare. So we've got it condensed pretty much down to those two normal, semi-normal tunings these days. Well, Dogman's pretty simple riff. Uh, uh, it just kind of came to me one day, and uh, it starts out with the verse, which is kind of has the main riff in it, but it goes like this. And that's basically the verse riff for that. I mean, that does that on the verse basically over and over and over till it gets to a kind of pre-chorus thing. When you do this chunky stuff, it, it can just all sound the same. So what I do is sort of rotate between the thicker, heavy strings and the high ones with a different kind of rhythm, kind of a thing back and forth, and that creates a more of a train kind of chugging thing. But, but yeah, that's all I'm doing on that. just kind of rotate depending on the drum beat and stuff and get it to swing back and forth like that. Then back to the verse. That's that riff. Yeah, I love using uh, the open, what normally a normal tuning would be your G string. I love droning that one and doing riffs with that, but. It's still droning that. So that is just kind of ringing throughout all of it. And I kind of actually originally stole that kind of idea from Alex Lifes and there's so much stuff he does with a drone note while he's doing riffs and just always really thought that was some cool stuff. Yeah, there's just a, a middle part. It's really boring on guitar, but it's all about the vocals really on that part, but it's like three-way harmony kind of section that just, it does more droning, but it's just a straight ahead. back to a, to a verse on that. I'm trying to keep the G ringing the entire time. All the way up, you know, and uh, just hit the heavy chords with it. And I love how at some point it almost sounds, uh, well, it's kind of, uh, there's some tension of almost being wrong in a couple of spots, and I actually like those the most. <laughs> And that's only three strings being played.
This is basically a D chord, but played up here. So, you know, some people use that for a D up the neck, you know? And um, so I just start there. As a matter of fact, it sounds like ACDC now that I'm hearing it. That That's exactly what it is, actually. <laughs> But I'm just basically starting out here. Yeah, the verse then gets a little George Lynchy, actually. I think I was inspired by some couple of note voicing things he was doing when, when I came out with this. But yeah, that once again, it's just uh, two note voicings with one kind of A drone happening, you know. And those are all of the, uh, the actual chords in that. Then it goes to the chorus coming out of that. And I'll be honest with you, the reason I threw the was from that Cheech and Chong song, Earache My Eye. There's a little da-da-da in that song that I think is the coolest thing on earth. And I got to the end of this riff and didn't know what to do, so I just threw it in for the heck of it. And it was like, hey, it works. <laughs> Basically, the song just repeats the verse and the chorus and the verse and chorus until it gets to an ah section in the middle, which is really the same thing as a verse, but just played a little more open open, you know, instead of, it's just. Back to chorus out. One, two, three, four. Then it goes to the Part. Originally it was in just standard tuning, of course now it's full step down, but it's just, you know, no drop tuning, standard guitar. Normally E to E, I've got it D to D. One, two, three, four. Once again, mostly three notes, you know, going all the time. On the drone theory again, you know, just keeping this, this note is basically droning everything, even though the chord changes to... that goes back and forth, but this note 
just constant drone. So a lot of stuff I write, well, it's that same Alex Lifeson thing I was talking about, you know, just keeping the one note going and playing against it, you know. Verse, real simple. Live, I mean, on the record, that's an overdub, but live, I just sort of try to cheat it a little bit and then get back to the chord and suggest it. Pre-chorus. Thank you. 